Notice the stuff inside the cell," said the Frizz. "It's the code of life, also known as DNA." We were noticing the DNA when all of a sudden Tim exclaimed, "Look at the cell! It's splitting in half!" Yelped Ralphie. Now there are two cells. The cell made a copy of itself. The first cell passed the code of life to the new cell. What is the code of life? By Carlos. Inside every cell, there is a code made of chemicals. The code is like a recipe. It tells the cell how to grow and how to make more of itself. Each human cell has a code of life too. It's made of the same chemicals. As ours, but in different combinations. Early DNA, human DNA. DNA is a chain of chemicals held in a double spiral. Come along, class," the Frizz said calmly. "We will now go forward in time. We zoomed ahead." Thousands of millions of years. In all that time, simple cells were the only form of life. In some cells, there were little tweaks to the DNA. These tweaks made changes to the cells. Look at all the different kinds. But all are still simple cells. So many cells. And not one cell phone. <laughs> This one has a tail. It can swim. This one is bigger than the others. This. The big ones eat the little ones. Where are we now? Two, B Y A. One point five billion years ago, big cells had been eating little cells for a long time. Sometimes, when a little cell was eaten, it was not digested. Instead, it became a working part of the big cell. Miss Frizzle said the big cell was now a complex cell. We look like complex cells. Now too. This is our next ancestor, a complex cell. Howdy. Little cell becomes a working part of big cell. A fabulous new cell by Tim. The old simple cell has only a few parts. The complex cell has many parts. I have way more parts than you," says the complex cell to the simple cell. All human cells are complex. By Phoebe, this new cell is the first step to more complex life forms, like us. Every cell in the human body has many parts: skin cell, nerve cell, muscle cell. I hope those big cells don't try to eat us. I knew I should have stayed home today. Some people never change. Where are we now? One point five, B Y A. Six hundred and fifty. Million years ago, we traveled forward millions of years and found our next ancestor. Many cells have clumped together to make a new animal," said our teacher. "It's a tiny sponge. It's the first animal to have many cells. Our costumes make us look like sponges, except sponges." Don't have mouths. How do they eat? They sift bits of food from the water. 
How Humans Are Like Sponges by Arnold. Sponges have many cells. Humans do too. How are we different? A sponge has about a dozen different kinds of cells. A human has 200 different kinds of cells. Some sponge cells, some human cells, heart cells, blood cells, skin cells, bone cells. Each sponge is actually the size of this dot. Sponge anchored to a rock. 630 million years ago. Follow the frizz, everyone, yelled Ralphie. Yelled Ralphie. We went forward many millions of years. There had been many changes in DNA over the years. A new animal had evolved. A jellyfish. It had tentacles. Guess what? We did too. I feel so slimy. Don't dawdle, children. We have almost 630 million years to go. You're spineless. So are you. Nerve, net, no brain. Mouth on underside. Stinging tentacles. How Humans Are Like Jellyfish by Wanda Jellyfish have many kinds of cells. The cells are organized into parts that do different jobs. Human cells are like that too. How we are different. We have trillions more cells than jellyfish. We have a brain and a backbone. Jellyfish do not.